Bugs! It's bug time! It bug time. Bug getting! It bug time for Shell. Bug time! It's watermelon time for me. Look at this. Wallenbergia. Did you and the queen have a nice chat? She's really something else, right? It's very rare that even we get to speak with her. So don't take it for granted. Oh, that's all they have to say. All right then. Why don't you get to speak with her often? She seems like she'd like chatting with folks. Gruia. Oh my, what a lovely little creature. How do you like my antenna? And my sleek little skin dots. Aren't they lovely? They look a little wrinkly too. Look at your underbelly. They must be overwhelmingly pretty for a foreigner like you. It's funny how you cover yourselves with your little claws. Without those, you must be very ugly, I guess. What does it help you to hide from predators? I mean, I suppose I'm dressed up as a mushroom currently. A fancy mushroom. I wonder so much about your funny surface culture. I love the little sounds that you make. Oh, you're just so strange and lovely. Wait, oh wait, wait, Melalusia or something? This is a shortcut up to the surface world. Um, for bugs, I mean. I assume you can't climb up walls like us. Melalusia. Melaluca. Sometimes I'm jealous of the littler bugs. They can discreetly come and go to the surface world. But there's no way I'm sneaking out of here. I mean, there's better anyway. Wait, but sometimes I wonder. Who else do we have? We have this little spider guy. Myconia. Mm. Mm. You're in charge of making all that tasty color, right? Just looking at your brush makes me hungry. Not all bugs eat color, but I sure do. I was so sad when it all suddenly disappeared. Please make as much as possible. It's rare for the color person to appear here. But they probably... There are probably one surface dweller who comes because of a pact with the queen. It means more tasty color for us, so it makes us happy. Well then. More color? Just uh, hold the cursor over him and start just mashing R2. I mean, is that all? How do you feel if it just got bigger every single time? <laughs> By the end of it, it's just like, boom, 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 boom. And then after a certain size, it's like, and now I shall be the queen. And then just rushes off. That one looks important too, but I don't believe I can get up to it. Mm -mm. Wow. It still can't. Well, let me try to actually pronounce it properly. What? Oh. Can you understand us now? <laughs> Oops. Whoa. Is this a little... Trash maze. Maze? Oh, but there's a little Heidi dude. Yeah, what is this down here? Cordia. Cordia. I can't do it. I don't want to leave. Please don't make me. I'm not ready for the world out there. Everything's scary, but I'm at home. Everything's okay. I know I'm being a bit silly. I will leave here eventually when I'm ready. Just leave me be. There's a caretaker in the corner. 
Yep. I think this is like kind of a hatchery. Mm-hmm. Ardicia. Do you know what this place is? When we reach a certain age, bugs come here to go into a hole for a while. While we're down here, we change and grow. It's how we become adults. The majesty of life and growth is here before us. Huh. We've appeared like that too. I wouldn't call it magical though. Choosing your hole is technically meaningless. But it has a lot of importance to us. We like to say that there is the right hole for each bug. Some holes are used by the same family for generations. What about you? Any of these holes feel like yours? So many stories come from these holes. For example, how do you know when you're ready to go? What happens when somebody waits too long to get to their hole? I can recommend some great books with tales like these. Oh, but I suppose you wouldn't be able to read them. What hole is our hole? This hole was made for me. <laughs> okay. I think that's it for, for this particular bit. Eh, right. Bleh. Oh, from your watermelon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, we never went in the cave. Go in the cave. It's a creepy cave. Go in the cave. Okay, fine. Creepy cave. Oh, it's an item shop of some sort. I will say this watermelon is doing wonders for my hurt tongue. Xora. Cool thing. Small. Cool thing. Furniture. Cool thing. Big. Wait, that looks like a bug computer. Mm -hmm. And a bug clock. And a bug stump. Oh, oh my. Hello. I've never spoken with a surface dweller before. Oh, this, oh, wow. This is a very big deal for me. I'm a huge fan of your surface culture. I love collecting your uh, litter. Fascinating, delicious little things. D do you have any? If you give me some, I will trade for things that I've collected. Do you hear much about feast on your surface world? Not really, no, not at all. Oh, I see. Well, you're quite mysterious to us as well. I've heard of bugs who went up to live in your world, but it must not be easy. Give me some litter, and you can have anything on display. A cultural exchange! Exchange for this? Yes. You got a stump seat. Yeah. We got a sunflower clock. Oh, look at that grub hanging. I love it. Cool thing? Yes. We got a grub hanger. See, it's like a wall scroll mm -hmm. with a cute grub on it. Ah! Cool thing. Big. We'll have a bug computer. Yes. You got a, a dirt, dirt computer. computer. Oh. What is that? Is that a lamp? It's a big mushroom lamp. Big shroom lamp. Big shroom lamp. We got a fungal lamp. What is this thing supposed to be? Sure. We got a fuzz pile. Oh, is that just a mushroom pile? What is that supposed to be? Do you think I should keep buying these mushroom I mean things or am I okay for now? You buy whatever the heck you want. I don't know. I, I think there's probably enough trash to buy everything in the game. Mm hmm. It's just none of these particular things speak to you. Appeal okay. to me. Then just leave. Except there could be more. I just wish that they gave us a full catalog as opposed to just show us things after we've already purchased some stuff because there could be a cool mushroom rug or something. A fungus pile. See? Just more fungus piles. We got a fungus table. And you see, now I'm just getting rocks. Yeah. 
I don't know. All right, fine. I'll go for now. Well, that was a fun little shop. Now I can make my creepy grotto into a more mushroom-themed one as opposed to a haunted house one. Ooh, sphagnum. I don't like these black roots. They say... Uh, it's something that grew from above. The surface world must be a horrible place. I'm really worried. They won't say anything. But I think the roots are hurting the queen. Wait, is he just scraping his antenna with one of his hind legs? Yes, so. She's so big. What if she gets pinched? Oh, poor queen. Cranium. I, sorry if I came off as rude earlier. Past here was dangerous. I'm supposed to, whoa, whoa, whoa. I accidentally skipped past that line. No, but the queen says you're okay, so you're okay. Go on ahead and have a nice day. I haven't even seen the growth much myself. I did take a peek, but boy, it's scary. I wouldn't want to be the one to go in there. I heard about your black trees. Never seen them grow down this deep, though. Something wild must be going on there, hey? Ooh, this is a place we haven't been to yet. With You With can some... get up there somehow. Yeah, but... Maybe we need a bug power. Maybe we do need a bug power. Did you go up and to the right? Oh, but we oh, can't get to them either. We can't get oh, but to the, the babby. There is a little tiny one. Pinguicula. Did you meet the queen? <laughs> I'm so jealous. Isn't she amazing? Beautiful. I want to be as huge as her when I grow up. <laughs> the queen is the oldest of all of the bugs. She's so wise and great. I don't think anyone knows why she's so big and old. But I hope she stays that way forever. The queen never, ever leaves her lair. It's so pretty, it's so it's pretty rare that anyone gets to see her. You have to be pretty important. I hope I can be important enough someday. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll just come back later. Time to go kill the thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know if we've actually gone directly to the left from yeah, here. Yeah, we did. That's where the shop is. Oh, yeah. Where these guys are. I like Bugland. It's fun. Bugland is fun. I love all the bugs. Looks like I have to jump down. And so I see this is what it is. We get the jump ability so that we can get back up again. Yeah. I wonder if we get to scuttle up walls. Ooh, oh, these walls. Have, yeah. they have that. I bet we get to climb those walls. Uh, Probably just... We get to continue doing the, like, uh, the, the paint, uh, the Splatoon climb mm -hmm. or movement. Put up those surfaces. Ooh, look at all those thorns. And another evil haunted tree. Everything is pink. Why get, is it pink? I don't know. Get ready for a boss battle. I'm ready. Oh, no. Big brush. Oh! Tons of eyes! Oh! That's interesting. What are they doing? It's mirrored. To make up for the fact that there's so many of them. Wait, so you're doing the brush? Yeah. Oh. Well, I was. Now that brush is loose, and I'm not sure why. What is going on? It's it's growing. It's a mirror version of me. It's a mirror battle. Curry. Uh, curry. Nope. What? Huh? Give it up already. What? Fine, you can do it. I was just gonna do this like weird deadpan male voice. <laughs> Give it up already. What do you think you're doing here? I. I'm not scared of you. 
But I am you. I know everything there is to know about you. Look at you, playing the wielder. You really think that you should be the one holding that brush? Well, no. But I'm doing my best. Chicory trusted me with it. Chicory? After what she said, you think she trusts you? No, uh, she probably hates me. Of course she does. You're completely alone. And embarrassing yourself. It's time we put an end to it. Wow, all right. Wow, I love the music here. Oh, this is a cool boss fight. I have to alternate my brushes. Oh, really? Yeah, so depending on what state she's in, I have to hit her either with a mirror brush or not. How would you play this game? Alone. Flailing, namely. Huh? You'd have to flail hard. But yeah, co-op certainly makes this a lot, lot easier. Because I can focus on just staying alive. How? That was a little hard. Brush, so I'm not sure what I can do. Oh no, I think I'm dead. I got in that corner. Breaker. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. Because she's got a shield. There's some kind of wave. Because my brush is stuck on her. And it, like, it looks like I'm hitting the shield. Wait, there's those white spots. Yeah, do you have to get rid of those? I don't know. Wait. I'm not supposed to erase. Ow. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because effectively, she's got a paint shield. Oh, no. Thing. Wait, Shell, cross over. I, yeah, I suppose I've never gone over to that side, or I can't. Oh, it won't let you. It won't let me. I, I get damaged. A, I thought there was a thing surrounding you when you got close. Wait, it mirrors you. Get it in that white zone. There you go. This? Yeah, when there's a white zone on their side, you have to lure them in. That breaks the shield. Oh. So, sh does she follow my Yeah, she's lead? your mirror image. Okay, then keep yeah. hitting her. Okay. Woohoo. Good dodging. Whoa. Oh boy. Whoa. There we go.
Ah, but look at that. Hitting her, actually, it made it swoop to us. Mm-hmm. What a waste of time. I'm not going anywhere. The Black Forest will swallow everything, and it'll all be your fault. Chapter 5, The Source. How long have we been going for? Eh, I guess we're going to start the next chapter. I got a hangnail I need to get rid of. Uh. Powered up! You're bond with the brush. You can now swim up vertical surfaces. Yay! Fun! So you have to have paint down. Yeah. It probably only works for certain vertical surfaces. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. Did you take care of that black tangle? Yep. Okay, because it would appear that, in fact, nothing has actually changed or improved. Well, thanks for your help. You might want to talk to the queen before you leave. First, let's go see these guys. Oh, reset the color here. Maybe I never colored them. Right. Fritillaria. Oh! <laughs> uh, sorry. I've never seen anything like you. Uh, oh my. Are those, uh, are those your eyes? How does that even... Ah! Uh, Sorry, I'm just... I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> okay, then. Sorry, I didn't. Quercus. Oh, is that you, that Prudus? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy to see you paired up with the wielder. Prudus is a really big wielder fan, did you know? Oh, hey, isn't that interesting? Just thinking of the Isun thing. Mm -hmm. We're wielding a brush and inking thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We have our it's own It's probably little... And hey, we're a canine, too. Yeah. I wonder how much of that is intentional. <laughs> Boy, he always used to say... <laughs> I didn't translate that. I don't want you to know about my past and my being a wielder weeaboo. Extreme. I used to draw weird fan art, okay? <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, I knew it. See? Yep. I don't want to translate that. She's being really embarrassing. Prudus and I are old friends. So I know how much this means to him. Show him all your exciting surface world, but also please be kind to him. I can actually speak a little of your surface language. Prudus taught me some phrases. Wanna hear? Sure, I wonder what he taught you. Hello. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Prudus makes it sound so easy. That's uh, so funny. All right. Well, how are we doing time-wise? Okay, I don't think anybody else has anything to say. So let's uh, head for that shortcut to the surface world. Well, we need to talk to the queen. Oh, you're right. You're right. Fine, fine. Go talk to, the queen. talk to the queen. I just queen. want to get rid of this hangnail. It's really annoying. Oh, talk to the queen. Oh. Can you get your out of the way. Yes, there we go. Taking a look at those roots yet, dearie. Sure did. Sure did. But they haven't gone away. No. Come to think of it, whenever I go into one of those spooky trees, they never actually go away. 
They just close up. Ah. Then it seems you must find the true source of all the roots. The growths here are vicious. Ah! No, now she's pink. Oh, that was unintentional. But they are only a symptom of the larger problem above us. That must be the only way to make them go away. The true source of the roots. But where could that be? How are we supposed to know, darling? But surely somewhere in the surface world, we are counting on you. Give me a second, I gotta fix your colors. I uh, can you... Uh... I... Why are you the hardest thing to paint? <laughs> okay, there we go. There She's we back go. to her proper watermelon-y self. Also, watermelon was exactly what I needed. <laughs> Hot dang. I'm feeling Watermelon's so much better. Watermelon's really nice, yeah. It's so good. All right, lead us out of here. But before we escape, we will see you all on the next episode of Chicory. And I'm going to go deal with my... My pain hands. Don't take us out in case there's someone wanting to talk to us. Yep. I'm oh. just preparing this the This episode's a lot shorter than I was expecting. You know what? The last episode was real long. <laughs>